The next person on the list is Christina Walsh, the Director of Activism and Coalitions with the Institute of Justice, or sorry, Institute for Justice in Virginia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to speak today. I'm here representing the Institute for Justice, a national public interest law firm dedicated to fighting for private property rights nationwide. We are here today to stand in support of the West Bryn Mawr Avenue property and business owners against NEIU's attempted land grab. And that is exactly what this is, a bold-faced land grab. The government's power of eminent domain is only supposed to be used when it is necessary to accomplish a public use. Otherwise, nobody's property is safe. Over half of NEIU's property is not developed. The current land holdings can accommodate this expansion. The school is sending a message loud and clear to the surrounding community that it is not a good neighbor. If the West Bryn Mawr Avenue properties can be condemned for an elusive expansion, whose homes and businesses will be next? It is sending a message loud and clear to its students that NEIU is a bully, that it does not follow its own mission of preparing a diverse community of students for leadership and service in our region, strong arming and destroying the businesses and livelihoods of hardworking entrepreneurs and immigrant families and steamrolling over their rights is not an example of good leadership nor of service to your region. And it is sending a message to alumni that they should be ashamed of their school. These condemnations will not only hurt this community, it will cripple at least 16 families and destroy NEIU's reputation among its students, faculty, and alumni. We stand in solidarity with the property and business owners, neighbors, students, faculty, and a broad-based coalition of organizations, including the Illinois Policy Institute, the National Federation of Independent Business, and the North Chicago Chamber of Commerce in opposition to these condemnations. We demand that the school abandon these efforts and focus on real alternatives that are beneficial to the university and the surrounding community. We are confident that NEIU can accomplish its goals without destroying the livelihoods of long-standing home and business owners. Thank you. Thank you.